I'm Kevin Lentz, the pastor of Trinity at Badger Ranch. I want to thank you for joining me for my Thursday devotion, where I'm working through the book of 2 Corinthians. I hope you're also able to join me on Mondays when I do a sermon recap of the day before. And also hope you can join Alyssa and Ian for their devotions on Tuesday and Wednesday. What I'm doing now in chapter 4 is there's so many unique, like pearls of wisdom, that I want to read them. I won't talk much about them because they kind of speak for themselves. I'm going to start with chapter 4, first part of verse 2, where it says, We have renounced secret and shameful ways. Yes, we should do that. We should overcome that which is wrong and, and ungodly. It continues, We do not use deception. Why would we? Why would we think lying would ever be good or a right thing to do? So we don't use that, especially when talking about who our God is to us. And lastly, nor do we distort the word of God. We wouldn't want to do that. That would be a false teaching, uh, erroneous, and not proclaiming the true God of the scriptures. So we give thanks for that verse. We look now at verse 4. The God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers. That means worldly gods, not our God. It's a small g, but gods of this world, humanity, made up gods, worldly gods, money, things like that. The gods of this age has blinded the sight or blinded the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. And Jesus is the image of God. He is the son of God. He is how God has been revealed to us because he walked on this earth. And so we give thanks for that verse as well. We continue. Verse 5. We do not preach ourselves but Jesus Christ as Lord and ourselves as your servants for Jesus' sake. Yes, that is the tone always of the message. We preach Christ crucified. We preach God's message of salvation. We want people to know how salvation can come about as being the truth of who Christ is. And so we are, again, servants of God and of God's word because we don't preach ourselves. Verse 6. God, who said, let light shine out of darkness, made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ. That means we have faith, light in our hearts. We believe uh, the, the illogical truth that a God can walk on water and be raised up from the dead. We believe that truth. Of scripture and so we give thanks for that, that that light of truth and scripture is in our hearts so we know who that is talking about jesus christ our lord verse 7 we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from god and not from us and we are frail we are jars of clay the message is not the message will go on and on and never end but we're here for we pray a good number of years, but we know also how this life will come to an end. So we are jars of clay, but the word of God is within us, protected in us, giving thanks to God for it. Now, verse 10. Uh, we always carry around in our body the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. That's our hope. That's our future. We carry around the body of Christ, the death of Christ. We give thanks constantly for that horrible sacrifice Jesus made for us because it frees us. It takes away our sin. For, it pays for our sin. So we've been set free through the blood of Christ. So we carry around in our body the death of Jesus. Uh, thankful for that. Verse 14. We know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus from the dead will also raise us from the dead. And so we give thanks for that, because that's true. We know our Easter is coming. Upon leaving this life, we have a resurrection waiting for us. And then lastly, verse 18. We fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporal, what is seen is eternal. God is the unseen, our salvation. We, we focus on him, but we can't see him. This world is seen can't save us. So again, a lot of good verses there. I encourage you to read 2 Corinthians chapter 4, just 18 verses, like I said. You'll find some good, wonderful world, uh, pearls of wisdom in that. God bless your weekend, and I invite you to join us to worship at Trinity Badger Ranch this coming Sunday.